Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and guys, finally, Onyx Pendulum is viable. Alright, let's go to the build, what we have here. So we have Onyx Pendulum, dealing 100% base firearm damage, at stacks which multiplies the damage stole firearm by 1.0.2 times, what it means, that it multiplies your damage. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. So, and what we're gonna pair this? We're gonna pair this with Sidewinder. You know, if you know, if you have been playing this Remnant 2 for a while, you know that Sidewinder has a slight change on the previous DLC, not this one, the previous one, on Yesha. So what it does now, before you used to be really, really good with single shot weapons, but now, every time you swap your weapon, it consumes 6 seconds of your duration. So right now, it's only good with weapons that has medium capacity on the magazine. And those weapons would be the double barrel and coach gun. But there's a trick, but I will always explain to it. For this, we're going to use Radiant Thorns, Bird of Destroyer, Probability Court, and Ring of the Flawed Beauty. Although this one, you guys can change it by a carry weapon. It depends if the enemy has weak spot or doesn't have. So keep that in mind, right? Um, for Hunter, we're gonna use the Hunter's Focus, but if you think it's annoying to wait for the Hunter's Focus proc, I recommend Hunter's Mark, and that's it. Okay, Fragments. Here, maybe someone's gonna be surprised, because I'm not using Sharpshooter. I'm using Size Matters as a legendary. Doubles magazine size for non single shot weapons. Guys, this build is not possible without this. With the sharpshooter, you're gonna do a little bit more damage on the, on the shots, but the DPS is gonna be way, way lower because this is what's keeping alive the build, alright? So, yeah, this is a quick swap build, but for range damage, okay? And well, let me. Do a quick warning. Be careful with the carpal tunnel. <laughs> if you're already suffering from your carpal, carpal tunnel or some some pain in your wrist or fingers, don't play this build because you're gonna be clicking and doing so much switch that it's gonna hurt you. I'm telling you. Okay, so for the double barrel, we're gonna use corrosive, corrosive rounds with top heavy. Relax, but we can change this. I think this one's just by default because. It's a throwable melee and with tainted blade, it's just amazing. And coach gun. Alright, coach gun, although I'm using with bandit, here you can choose one thing. I mean bandit is mandatory. But hot shot is not. You can change hot shot on the band on the coach gun, for example, with defrag. Defrag is a really good weapon when you are mobbing. I mean no weapon, weapon mod. Because it leaves a kill edge that increases all damage by 20%. You see me in the some clips in the beginning using especially against killer. Because you the tentacles, you kill the tentacles and gives you a glitch and increase your all damage by 20%. Also, it's good on the Ravager, for example. But I got better results. I don't know why with the how do you mean hot shot. But it's up to you. If you want to shoot faster, use overflow. And that's it. Abrasive rounds. Eh. If you want some life steal for some purpose, I don't know which purpose, but for the most damage, I recommend on the coach gun, defrag, and hotshot. That's it. For the double barrel, I mean, corrosive rounds is the best, but let's say you have a problem with the mobs in a boss fight. Just change it for soul binder, and we'll do wonderful. But with a soul binder, keep in mind. It would be really nice if you have, uh, where is it, amplitude, okay? So you're gonna spend a little bit of points on amplitude. But what do I have here and right now, and what is working for me? The most important flashcaster, always fortify, dependable. If you are good at dodging, you don't need that much. Spirit, expertise, um, maybe in the overworld it would be good. I don't think in boss fights you're gonna have two rotations to make it. What else? Siphoner, for sure. And Perception. Perception and Handling. Handling 100%. Especially with the concoction of Tranquility Font. Because the 
and not delay. How do you say? <laughs> the ah, sorry. So the blowback of the gun, the spread is really really huge without the handling and the trochili font. So those two goes together. If you don't want, you don't you don't need to use it, but you've been warned. Well, that's it. Let me do some quick demonstration on how it is. So we're gonna come. Let's imagine this is a boss here. You're gonna pop your skill. Then you're gonna start with the coach gun. Activate it. Side winter. Now the mod. Mod again, so you have to reload. And just swap. Oops, I missed one shot there. As you can see, the DPS is not bad at all. Around 9k. I even got sometimes 10k, something like that. But you can see one rotation of the skill and 225k uh, damage. It's really, really nice. Of course, this target doesn't move and is easier to aim. Weak spot is easier to hit. So it's gonna vary on the, depending on the enemy. But that's it, guys. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Cyber out.